We knew going in that there are certain iconic things that fans of Iron Man are going to be looking for. Number one, flight. Number two, the immersive Iron Man HUD. And number three, various iconic weapons. The first thing that people think about when you're envisioning the Iron Man fantasy is, is all about flying. To me, the sense of flying as Iron Man is about freedom, speed, and power. Right off the bat, we knew you have to be able to go wherever you want. We knew we wanted this open sandbox experience punctuated by that freedom you have, that full 360 degree movement. We wanted you to be able to fly really fast, but be able to maintain control as you bank through corners and through canyons. But it's different from a flight simulator or like a cockpit experience because it's like directly controlling where you go with your body, which only takes like a few seconds to really get the hang of. Of course, you have the first like whoa moment the first time you lift off the ground. It allows for your body and mind to make that one-to-one -one connection rather than controlling the turn through a stick or a button press. Where power comes through in the flight is with the acceleration and the special mechanics such as boost. You can go from zero to 200 miles an hour. <laughs> you can come to a stop, you can hover, you can run around a corner, you can dive down to the floor, you can blast back up to the ceiling. We just want to make sure that the player is in full control and that they can take that time to evaluate the battlefield properly. When people put on that helmet and the HUD boots up, they feel like Iron Man. I want them to feel like they're in control of the most power that they've ever felt in their lives. You're not going to be a master right off the bat, but over multiple play sessions, I want you to feel like you are starting to command that power. The HUD, the weapons, the flight, it's all done so that the player can feel like Iron Man and be a superhero. We'd always go back to the source material and make sure that we were leveraging what that ultimate fantasy is of being Iron Man and pairing that with the strengths of the immersion that VR offers. Iron Man and VR, they just work perfectly together. Putting on that helmet, grabbing those controllers, the HUD booting up, and the thrusters in your hands, and put them down at your sides, and you start blasting forward.